Another guy that I have a hard time giving credit to, guy who I think is on the same level of MJF when it comes to scumbag re- meter. Um, maybe not as evil uh, when it comes to outspoken, um, how awful he can be on the mic, but certainly <laughs> as self-absorbed and oh, um, yeah. as egotistical as MDF. Adam Cole, a guy who has proven time after time after time after time, it doesn't matter who he has to take advantage of. It doesn't matter who he has to stab in the back. It doesn't matter what he has to do. He will do everything it takes to be at the top. This is one of those guys who, if you're a kid and you watch Adam Cole, you should be reminded of Scar from The Lion King because this is a guy who would be no, he would have no problem selling his, <laughs> selling his mother to you know out for right. um, an opportunity to win gold. He has no allegiance to anybody but himself, mm-hmm. um, and he's proving it here, suckering Hangman Page into a sneak attack. Um, this is what Adam Cole does best. He, he tries to pick and choose his opportunities for success. Um, a real opportunist in the, in the business. Um, and it usually plays out to his advantage. I feel like he's keeping hangman page, just nibbling. He's like, he's, he's got, he's cast out the hook and, and he's got hangman chasing the bait. Just nip, just getting little nibbles here and there. <laughs> Hangman's got him, dude. He's about to get him hook, line and sinker. Um, yeah, he, it feels like it's just a matter of time before Adam Cole gets his rematch against the hangman Adam Page. And you give a guy like a- Adam Cole, baby, enough chances, he's walking out on top, dude. It's this is going to be an interesting one. At the hangman's, you know, his hands are tied because Adam Cole hijacked the world title belt tonight and so i th- it, i think that was kind of a, a funny funny heel move to do where you, yeah. you're walking away with the belt acting like you're the champ acting like you just won the belt so he's got i think he's gonna keep strutting that belt for a couple weeks to come or as much as possible playing that you know playing that cat and mouse game um and then somehow some way i feel like the young bucks are going to get involved uh in that as well but this was um a funny moment to me where we had him hijack that belt for sure. Um, so this is, you know, that part aside, I love this match. You know, love seeing Jay Lethal back on TV. The guy is just, you know, overflowing with charisma. Um, I wasn't, you know, I wasn't too familiar with his work uh, beforehand. Um, so when we signed, when AEW signed him, I did some recon, but, you know, I think he's a lot of fun. I want to see more and more of Jay Lethal when he had that promo against Ricky Starks. It was absolute fire. I think everything he's done so far today in AEW has really been spot on. And I, I liked his character work in this match. And I felt like this pairing was really well together. Um, and of I course, I got to ask you, I mean, yeah. you said it, um, you know, it feels like Hangman's hands are tied. You know, we're getting a lot of uh, comments here, and I and I wonder, do you see Hang- Hangman eventually here having some help against Adam Cole and Red Dragon? Do you see yeah. potentially the Young Bucks coming to his aid? I do, because um, there's that been those be seeds planted. I think there's those seeds planted. I think it's that that time. I think it would take it would it would have taken a Kenny Omega or a hangman page, some of those, you know, true battle tested warriors that were, you know, the OGs of AEW to make that transition per se. That way, if you do, do do that and put the young bucks, you do do the young bucks to team Babyface again, then you could revisit this, those seeds that have been playing with FTR. FTR is not leaving team heel anytime soon. They're, you know, that, you know, gung ho with that. So you can revisit once you, slow play the FTR young bucks revive, you know, reprise of that feud, which everyone wants. Clearly the fans were going crazy when those battle Royals, when they're going face to face and then just having the the pop that the young bucks would get helping out hangman. Yes, uh, ultimately. So I think now is the time. If not now you have to do something with, I'm with you. I think, I think that would be phenomenal. And I think like you just mentioned, um, Kenny was the ultimate, he's the long play. Right, he he's, he's the, the wild card. The he's Joker. the wild. I mean, if you have while he's gone, if if he's gone, and you have his the elite break up, and you see Adam Cole and 
and Red Dragon kind of on one side and Hangman and the Bucks on the other. And Kenny has to come in to try to mm-hmm. either play Peacemaker or is True. or is torn between two sides. With Don Callis in those segments, with Don Callis looming bit large over that, oh. that will prove to be some incredibly entertaining television. And the drama and the excitement of all those pieces moving off of each other, even Kenny coming in with the Good Brothers, and you have three uh, sections. Oh, can't stand that. Th- three sections of th- of you know trios groups there. That's a good point. Um, all warring over who the elite is. I mean, there's a lot That's of attention a good point. here. Um, I don't know, man. I just I'm, I love the drama that surrounds the elite, um, dating back to you know the very beginnings of this company. Uh, they are the foundation of AEW. We are all elite wrestling, and we owe a mm-hmm. lot to these guys. I, I think that they're at the top of their game right now. I'm with you. You get to see the Bucks turn babyface. That could be something really special. We'll just leave Team it at this, man. Um, this match, Adam Cole, let's get into it. Jay, Jay Lethal and Adam Cole deserve a little bit of uh, love for what they did in the ring. It was great. You know, I, know that, I know that you were kind of uh, in the dark about – what Jay Lethal was able to do before he got to AEW. And I, I, I wanted to keep telling you, dude, watch and see. He's one of those guys. And now he's quickly becoming one of your guys that you you love seeing whenever he gets, we get the chance. We don't get to see Jay Lethal a lot. Mm-hmm. But when we right. do, he's a lot of fun to watch, right? He, he has, He's kind of the do-it-all type of wrestler. He's, he's physical enough that he can, he can do any sort of technical work. He can do any sort of brawling and believably – He's right. still an incredible athlete that can do acrobatics, can do stuff off the top. I mean, he really has no flaws in his game. And he's charismatic and hilarious on the mic, too. I mean, he's great You're connecting spot on. with the fans. I know. I want to see more and more pro- promos of him. And because I know his promo work is absolutely epic, That I just wish the camera didn't cut because during his Ric Flair strut and then he throws in his Ric Flair – uh, nuances he throws in his macho man nuances um and i just i want to see more and more lethal and i thought this pairing was was really great and a, a match and a storytelling that I, I was really really impressed by 